Okay guys, this video is for new Mac users who are switching from PC to Mac, which is a great decision. Um, I'm going to show you some of the basics of what you need to know uh, when, switching, when switching to Mac. Um, and I'm just going to warn you right now that a lot of my stuff that I have on here is not going to look anything like yours because I've messed around with some stuff and, you know, just modified different things like my dock here and some of the icons, as you can see. Um, Anyways, like I said, I'm just going to show you the basics um, of what you need to know to make to make a comfortable transition, and um, and I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, you're going to love your Mac. It's going to be it's amazing. Mac is the best thing. I, I'm not going I'm not going back to PC. I, I just love I love Mac. Okay, let's get started. First, I want to talk to you about the basic look of things. As you can tell, most everything has this gray and blue um, design. To it and um, st there's different stuff they that stuff there's some stuff that's in uh, different places like the close minimize and maximize uh, uh, buttons um, to resize the page you have to go to the bottom right hand corner you know oh no, sorry and move it around um, let's see it's uh, let's see, some stuff is hidden, you have to go and, and find it and get it out, usually it's not that hard. Um, uh, let's see, all the uh, properties, um, like all the editing properties and all the uh, basic uh, outlook properties for each uh, application that's up is up here at this top banner. banner. And uh, let's see, that's pretty much it for, de for the design. Um, keyboard and the trackpad if you'll notice um, the function keys at the top you know f1 f2 f3 they all do a different uh, command like brightness or sound uh, volume or number lock you know and um like I, I just thought that's pretty cool because usually they're just buttons on a PC but you know they now they actually give commands we could actually use um, your trackpad and or mouse. Um, if you'll notice if you're using an older uh, Mac, uh, preferably an older uh, Mac uh, laptop, you know, like a, like a PowerBook G4 or an older uh, MacBook, then you'll notice it only has one click and no right click. Well, the way to right click is to hold down control and click at the same time. If you're on a newer Mac um, and you're using a Magic Mouse, uh, or like yeah, let's see like if you're on a newer MacBook then it'll have a right click and a left click if you're using like an iMac or you're just using a magic mouse like, like randomly then um, you can go to system preferences and change the settings to where it's uh, pressure sensitive uh, to have a right click on the right side of course let's see um, let's go preferences System preferences is the base is the preferences for all the basic and core services that you have on your Mac. Um, but for individual preferences, like okay, Microsoft Word, you have to go to the top banner, the application name, and go to preferences, or you just uh, click uh, Command comma. Okay. And when you uh, set preferences, you don't have to click save or anything. You just click, you just X out of it when you're done. Um, speaking of the command button, um, back on a PC, for all the keyboard shortcuts, it's pretty much control and then something else. Well, here it's command and then whatever letter. And of course, command is the little apple symbol ne next to the little uh, squiggly line design thing. I don't know what that is. Anyways, but yeah, that's that's pretty much every um, that's pretty much for every co command you're gonna use the command key, like uh, quit. So I want to quit Word up here. I just hit Command Q. It's quitting. Find And um, for some reason there always has to be one application running, and usually that's Finder. So you can quit Finder. As long as there's as long as there's another application running, but I don't see the point of that. It's just I don't know. 
Let's see, um, Finder is uh, basically going into your Mac and going to er and accessing every file on your Mac. Like literally, Apple made it so easy to get to every file that you can think of on your Mac, even like down to the files you've never even heard of. Um, but it all happens through Finder. Um, let's see, the Finder icon and the trash icon, you cannot move those around or take those out of the dock. Yeah. Um, as far as the dock, the dock goes, sorry, my voice is cracking. As far as the dock goes, um, you can have this 3D dock, um, and usually it's silver, but I've changed the background. Or you can have like a 2D dock, it's just like a, a black line going over the top. And um, you can auto hide your dock, uh, like I do, through either system preferences or uh, hitting command option D. Let's see what's next. Um, oh, auto update. Um, there's a feature here. It's it's not a it's not an app. Let's see, software software update. There's a feature. Um, and it automatically checks for any updates, um, any updates for applications that were pre-installed on your Mac. Okay. Now to now to find an update for um, to get an update for an application like a third-party application, you know, one that was downloaded from um, the web, you have to go to the application and usually. Usually when the application opens, there's like a window that pops up that says there's an update available for this. Uh, sometimes you have to do something different. I got it on uh, FrostWire. Like, uh, you have to download FrostWire again. I, I don't know why I can't just update it, but... Anyways. <coughs> you know, it, but it's still, it's still pretty easy. You know, just to, um... Already have, already have the updates already checked for you. And just everything running smoothly. Uh, let's see. Oh, stacks. Stacks are pretty neat. Um, yours, your stack, uh, right here is gonna probably just look like uh, just the files, just like a, a preview of the files. And if you're using an older Mac, it's probably just gonna look like a straight line going up of the files. Um, what I've done here, I've uh, modified it to make it look like there's bins around the files. Um, it's pretty easy. I have a video on that. Uh, let's see. And on newer Macs, and for some reason, my Mac did this all of a sudden. I don't know why, but it'll have this box and have the files in here, and it'll highlight as you move your mouse over them. And stacks are pretty awesome. Um, I, just, I think they're pretty e uh, easy, and they're just, they make, they're so convenient, honestly. Um, and for some reason, Applications cannot go past, cannot can only stay on the left side of the um, indicator line, and stacks can only stay on the right side. It's kind of weird. I don't know why. Um, by the way, the indicator line is also where you can quickly just resize your dock. It's just a little side fact. Um, dashboard. If you click on dashboard, you notice these little um, widgets, as they're called, come up, and they're just like convenient little, you know, help helpers, I guess. You know, just random things. And the default widgets are calculator, uh, clock, weather, and uh, calendar. But you can download widgets off Apple.com, and you are, you already have like a plethora of widgets down here. They're pretty cool. And to get out of a uh, dashboard, you just gotta click. Let's see. Did I miss, did I miss anything? Uh, let's see. I don't think I missed anything. Um, I think that's it. Honestly, uh, check out my uh, other videos. I have some pretty neat uh, tips and tricks for Mac. Um, and just. And just love your Mac. I mean, it's amazing. It's it's like it's so to me. It's so uh, it's technologically advanced, but it's so easy at the same time. I'm I'm never going back to PC. Trust me, you're gonna love your Mac.